Well, for kids who have to spend time at the hospital, there isn't always a whole lot to look forward to. But a couple of times a week, uh, patients at American Family Children's Hospital get a special visit from their pet pals. And we're going to talk more about the program with Linda Sullivan from the UW uh, School of Veterinary Medicine. Would you introduce the, your friend over? You don't have a microphone on. I'm Lisa. You're Lisa? Okay. Lisa, Lisa you have Pepper. Pepper? Yes. And this is... Czar. Czar. <laughs> and they're going to ask, someone at home is going to say, what kind of dog is, look at Czar, mm -hmm. takes up the whole, the yeah. whole screen. <laughs> what kind of dog is Czar again? Czar is a great Pyrenees. Okay. And then Pepper is a, a cocker. Pepper Spaniel. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So why don't you uh, first tell us about the Pet Pals program. Yeah. It's a great program. As, as you mentioned, we take dogs to mm -hmm. visit the kids at American Family Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, and the kids really look forward to it. They, they come out of their rooms, uh, which is good exercise for them, and, and also kind of mixes it up for them a little bit. Um, and they just love sitting with the dogs, chatting with the dogs, hugging the dogs. And for some of them, they have dogs at home that they miss terribly. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's a really nice thing for them. Now this can probably, uh, and I imagine there's some science to back this up, this can also aid recovery, can it? Absolutely. There's been a lot of work um, studies in adults, mm -hmm. but there was actually a study done with the Pet Pals program oh, that, right? that shows a lot of the benefits um, of pet therapy for children. Yeah, speaking from personal experience, my son has spent several times in, in the hospital, and every time the dogs come, it is like a different little boy. And it's one of the, 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 you can tell on the faces of the other little patients there as well. I mean, the dogs just bring such happiness and joy to them. It's, oh, it's amazing. That's, that's so good I, to I hear. imagine that this, is, this has got to make you feel good to see that. Oh, absolutely. I think that our human volunteers get just as much out of going to the, the visits as the patients do. Are you looking for, for more dogs for the, for the program? If someone at home has a, a gentle dog that they'd like to... Absolutely. We do behavior evaluations mm -hmm. once a year, usually late in the summer, um, and we're always looking for, for more wonderful dogs. What, is it, is it uh, temperament or, or yeah, what, breed, what is, or what, what, are you, are you what are you for? looking for? It's temperament, yeah. definitely. We've had so many different breeds, from little five-pounders to our 120-pounders <laughs> like Czar. Yes, <laughs> yeah, like, excuse me? <laughs> and we're, we're, with the big dogs, we're looking for couch potatoes, yeah. just like this, mm -hmm. because this is what the kids want to do. They're, they're sick. You know, mm -hmm. they, they don't want to play and throw balls and that sort of thing. Yeah, they just, they want, just to want to sit and cuddle. And before the, the dogs are brought in there, too, they, they have to be bathed and all that, and, right? You bet. They have to be bathed. They wear vests um, at the visits that kind of cuts down on the, the dander and dog yeah. hair that we leave behind. But what a lot of people don't know is that twice a year, they undergo some extensive medical testing um, oh, yeah. to make sure that they're safe for those kids. Mm -hmm. Those kids, um, we want them the dogs to be able to visit with all the kids, right. even the ones who are immunocompromised because mm -hmm. of chemotherapy sure. or transplants. Sure. And how often do you visit the hospital? Twice a week. Twice a week. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Great. Thank you so much Thanks. for bringing them in. Yeah. You're welcome. If you want more information on the uh, Pet Pals program, just go to the UW Vet School's website and click on Giving. And of course, we'll have a direct link on our website, channel 3000. Oh, everyone seems to be a little calmer now with the dogs. I'd like to here. keep them here for the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be